What's up guys, it's Heinz here and today we've got a very special war recap video and it was a cracker of a war so we're just going to go straight into it and it was a 71 to 70, uh, 67 sorry 97.28 damage destruction to 94 uh, some great attacks from both sides and as you can see they, they managed to destroy some of our top bases um, a couple of bases got two starred, one starred uh, but they didn't manage to clean up all the all the remaining bottom bases uh, so that basically meant they had some great top attackers but overall um, they didn't the, the skill level didn't go across the clan so whether us we they also had the town hall 10 advantage so they had one town hall 10 uh, fortunately he failed his second raid and got a one star um, which was awesome for us but as you can see uh, Redmont 95%, Redmont 98%, we've missed out these two uh, Town Hall 9 3 stars, but everything else, apart from one base, got 3 starred. Um, and it was, a, it was a good war, it was a good war, so we're just going to go straight into the attacks. And actually, we're going to check the war events and see what how they started off, obviously. Uh, a couple of great 3 stars from the top, I'm pulling out a 6 star war for Ashy as well, so that was a good attack from myself. Uh, Joe pulled out the three star, Baby Carpet and Steven back to back pulled out three stars. Uh, Steven with his perfect war as well, so excellent war from him. And as you can see, they started three starring pretty pretty early as well, which was the first attacks were a nice attack as well. Uh, Damon as well uh, gets his perfect war. Casey, Jed uh, and Mason get some three stars. Oh. Attacking for Earl as well. I get a perfect wall with Earl as well, so that was some brilliant attacks for myself. Um, disconnected my Wi-Fi, which was crazy, but the rage gemmed. I got my three star. <laughs> Bo got his three star. Jed finished off the wall with his three star as well, so perfect wall for Jed. Uh, and as you can see, the amount of stars they managed to get uh, from the last remaining rage, with some of the top players failing as well, but success in their attacks as well so which was pretty good for them uh, and then master uh, pretty much topped the war off getting both his perfect war and andrew uh, with the icing on the cake gets his three star as well so overall uh, great performance from the boys um, as you can see uh, great perfect wars maybe four or five perfect wars for the lads and you can see from their side most of some of them i think top eight uh, were pretty decent but then the rest uh, it was just too hard to start heaven so we're gonna go straight into the attacks and the first one is from burn complimented by, by Alus. <sighs> as you can see burn is going with an aq walk with a dragon raid so he's trying to break the funnel here on the right hand side unfortunately a tesla pops up um, so he's waiting for to see where he's dropping his queen Drops his queen down. Queen is going to be doing work. Which is good. Takes that Tesla around. He's breaking that funnel just for the queen to not come around. He wants that queen to go into them three head defenses in the core section. So he's just trying to clear as much as possible. And then he's going to wall break inside. Uh, unfortunately, his Teslas get caught by the wizard tower a bit late. Uh, and then, But he did have a couple of more wall break. Just in case. Because he didn't want to get his king. Uh, uses that rage buff to queen to speed it up back to health it's already creating a funnel uh, on this right hand side king goes down he wants his king to get that uh, second air defense down as well so the king's there picking that air defense down uh, and then he starts his uh, so as you see lots going on a dragon started the queen's up there taking the town hall uh, the king's there under heal spell he's trying to get that last air defense down uh, and then it's just dragons, there's maybe 3-4 defences just to hit the dragons with um, that left, the queen's doing work at the top, she's going to be taking that wizard tower out at the top um, <laughs> and then these dragons, the queen's in the phase uh, he's still got a wizzy for, for clean up and it was one hell of a raid there but an excellent attack dude so that's a freestyle there, a nice dragon raid and also Joe pulled out his, uh, a brilliant AQ walk as well which we're going to show in a bit but Bow to the King also did a great uh, Shattered Ladoon attack 
Um, he basically just wants to jump into these two air defences and, and just get the queen, get these two air defences and then just use three lava hounds to, to circle around the base and wreck the base pretty much. So it breaks the funnel, queen's in there, king's in there, rage spell just to cause that much DPS in there. King goes down, takes the air defences down for the first one. Uh, the sweeper is there so his opener managed to get a expo sweep by air defense, two air defenses, two teslas uh, and then it's just great hound deployment there and balloon drops were perfect last lava hound to tank that last air defense as well and <laughs> you can see how many loons he's got left so once that air defense goes down it's only a tesla left and one archer tower uh, great attack there bow to the king got his queen alive as well, he, di he didn't want to use his uh, two archers and two goblins either. And that's another free star. Usage of 14 loons there, 3 rage spells, 1 jump spell. And this is Joe's attack here right now, and the Joe's doing a AQ walk, um, and it was one good AQ walk there, he executed it pretty well and uh, the amount he got for his AQ walk in the skill squad uh, he pretty much wrecked half the base so it's queen walking from north, he wants to come all the way to this west section it's obviously you've seen there's a lot of DPS, he drops that range bar just to get that healer uh, queen back to life so queen goes back to life no problem Going around the base, he's trying to break into this bottom hand section. So two columns go down. A couple of minutes to break the funnel. Test wall breakers, nothing's there. So great well wall breaker going in there as well. Just going to jump straight to the queen uh, loon, and a giant comes out the CC, which is going to be no problem for the queen to take out pretty fast. And the poison spell. The king goes in. Two golems going into their targets in but all defenses there, but the king's in there, he's already onto the queen. He's about to take the queen down. A couple of sprinkle hogs at the bottom. King's using ability, he takes that whole middle section out uh, with a couple of loons. I mean hogs. And then he's got one more heal spot for the top section of the base. And he's got both heroes alive, queen and ability. Uh, unfortunately last giant bomb does hit but the hogs because they're back to full health. Uh, they didn't die, so. <laughs> great execution there. Joe, great attack. And that's a freestyle. Next one, we're gonna go Mason. Mason's that he's doing AQ walk as well. And he is going to go with some Valks and some Hogs as well. So he's going to go from this west section as well. And he wants to come all the way down to this south section as well. Uh, and trying to jump into this core. He's breaking that funnel. Queen's going to go to take that storage down. And close to defense is next to that water. So the Queen's going to start walking down. Which is brilliant. Queen's walking down and takes the Tesla out. Takes the Wizard Tower out. Golems go there, two golems go in there. Uh, she did manage to obviously hit the wall because he took uh, that uh, storage out. But anyway, she's going to get the queen at this point. Phases the queen. The queen's not locked onto the lava hound. Uh, king's in there, two golems in there anyway. And then he just starts his hog attack on the top section. A couple of giants just to tank there. Still got one more heal spell, great heal spell there just to cover his points on the sea. His giant bomb there, and the last heal spell goes down to the bottom. Great attack there, Mason. Good attack, dude. And that's another three star. He's got both heroes alive, green, uh, full health, and loads of hogs there. And you only use three. Uh, healers on that attack. This base, <laughs> two, three, four people I think failed against this base because I think it's a trophy pushing base. Um, people hit it with Valks, people hit it with Goiri, Max. Oh. So I just liked it. I just obviously this is the attack I gemmed uh, 
rage gemmed so I just wanted to erect this base so I can take four golems just because there's a lot of DPS on this bottom hand section, section anyway um, three Valks just to kill the queen without obviously my heroes being touched rage spark goes in there I'm not worried about this easy you've got two poison spells for that um, so everything's going in everything's going in take the core section now golems are tanking wizards are tanking uh, sprinkle the hogs out the board to take that uh, mortar out uh, I mean that cannon and that archer tower at the top uh, and then last sprinkle the hogs just to take out the defense into the back section uh, but as you can see I've got two spots left uh, and a lot of clean up two fully maxed golems and uh, healthy um, so yeah so it was a quite straightforward <laughs> attack but it seemed to be very very tricky uh, to most people but I got the job done and <laughs> and the two swag spells at the end anyway so and that was a free star boys on black batman go on to Steven's attack Steven's attack is brilliant, he's going in with a max attack. So he wants to get into this middle section. Um, great wall breakers go in there. Queen's in there, so he's got his third column coming in there. One CC's pulled, he's dropped his king. Uh, he has got a rage spell for them, but uh, he drops his rage spell there to cause that DPS in there. A couple of Teslas pop up, which is no problem. King's raged gets the queen which is brilliant uh, once he gets the queen the king takes out the last air defense and as you can see he took out two air defenses and there's two more for the back section so this lava hand's coming across the whole base he drops a clever lava hand there but an rage bar so he wants to go straight into that um, air defense with them three looms uh, and then it's just, it was just pretty much targeted the loot for the round of the base from the top section He's got a lava hand alive, and he's got a clean up on the right and a clean up on the left with an extra whizzy. So great deployment there, Stephen. Great attack. And that's a free star. Great attack. Andrew's attack on number fifteen. As you can see, Earthquake, uh, Max Laloon attack with a hog. Um, not Max Laloon attack, but Max Goho with Valks in there. Gets his Valks in, he opens that whole section so the, the Valks in the heroes have got so much to go into. Rages and also heals the core section. Takes the Queen down, takes the whole middle section out with the heroes. Uh, and then pretty much hooks the top section of the base. He's got that hill spot for the back section, and he's got so, so many hogs left, there's not much stopping those hogs. Good attack there, Andrew. And that's a free stop for Andrew. Okay. Number 16, Jed, number 20. Okay, one of the most inspirational Go Wee Wee attacks I've ever seen in my life. Okay, this raid, we needed this 3 star, and he was the last bottom player to try and hit a base, and he just YOLO'd it, and oh my god, did he YOLO it. Um, <laughs> there is no words to describe this attack. I do warn you, this is disturbing and mentally draining for myself and our planning. This guy spams witches, spams wizards, spams golems, he spams rage spells, he don't give a... Yeah man, he don't care. He just turns up and bangs three stars. Uh, King's in there, 
takes out the air defenses. He's got six loons, okay? He's got six loons left and three witches and two golems fully healthy. The queen the heroes are about to die. I'm gonna slow it down here. Because this is where the action happens. The hero's gone down. There's two golems in there at the top. Okay, he's got this whole section left. He's got two balloons left, three witches at this point of the raid. The balloons are doing work. Skellies are coming out. They don't care. They're about to break that wall. Those golems are tanking pretty well. Golems reach the wall. The tank. He's down to one loon. Jed is shitting himself right now. He is down to one loon. He's like, oh my god, I'm gonna get this, boys. I'm, I'm fucking beast. I am. I'm beast. I am getting this. He's got one loon left, one golem, and three witches left. At this point, the loon goes to the wizard tower. The wizard tower about to go down. <laughs> the wizard tower goes down. The balloon goes down. Three witches left. Two golems hitting on the wall. These witches don't care at this point. They're wrecking. Witches are in there. Skellies are ripping bases. At this point... The whole clan is in shock, and I think people passed away at this point. There's about 10 seconds left of this raid. Tesla goes down. Wow. <laughs> oh my days. 2K16, Jed I. This guy don't care, he turns up and bangs threes. <laughs> What an attack, dude! What an attack! At, at that point, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna leave it there because that's one of the most inspirational attacks you will ever see here, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching this war recap, guys, and uh, we've got a very exciting war next war as well. So I'm gonna make st make sure you stay tuned. Um, so yeah, peace.